Thanks to you, my daughter is the number one girls tennis player in the world. Emma, she her. Con oh my gracious. I don't know if y'all have seen the video already that we've done. Go to LFRfamily.com up here. Ask me about the bang bang tea. Hi, I'm the <laughs> spokesperson for the Democratic Party. You see how she turned around on cue? Hi. That, that part right there is, I can't believe that people still buy into that stuff so much that they do it. The reason why she's doing it on the video is because it works. Hi. Hi. Like that part right there, why does this work? To show that somebody's presidential. They, they do this all the time. I'm the spokesperson for the Democratic Party, and I'm here to tell you why you need to vote blue this November. It's been a crazy few years. And after getting that former guy out of office through totally legitimate means, we've finally been able to get some work done for the American people. Led by our vivacious president, the country is better off than it was before. Sure, you can't afford to feed your family, but let's take a step back and look at the big picture. The first price. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a step back and look at the big picture. <laughs> Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. <laughs> the first priority for our devoutly Catholic president is to make it easier to dismember babies in the womb. Empathy. Our foreign policy has been, well, perfect. Just a few months after Joe Biden took office, America brought Afghanistan back to its tribal roots, reviving their classic culture. Oh yeah, yeah, that classic culture. We gave them hold on, show it again. back to its tribal roots, reviving their classic culture. They got they have they got our guns, they had our uniforms, <laughs> they had all of our stuff. They had all of our stuff. Unless I'm thinking about the wrong am I thinking about the wrong place? If I'm thinking about the wrong place, look, I apologize, charge to my mind, not my heart. Sometimes I get the things wrong. Sure. Some people criticize our immigration policy, which is basically to incentivize poor migrants to cross the border by refusing to enforce the law and promising them free stuff. <laughs> the only way we'll change our policy is if Texas border towns keep turning red. And really, you just going to come out with a sombrero? <laughs> <laughs> How she come out the woods with a sombrero? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, y'all yeah, missed that part. Free stuff. The only way we'll change our policy <laughs> is if Texas border towns keep turning red. In that case, we'll have a wall up faster than you can say, see, say Podway. Look, I could go all day listing the accomplishments of this administration and the Democratic Party, but why not listen to our voters instead? Here's what they have to say. Not being able to afford to eat out, go on vacation, or pay our electricity bills has really brought our family together. Y'all yeah, missed it. The lady's name is Olivia, and it had her, um, her pronoun, she, her. <laughs> Literally, we had to move from our four-bedroom house to a studio apartment. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> All right. Move from our four-bedroom house to a studio apartment. Thank you, Joe. Thanks to you, my daughter is the number one girls tennis player in the world. Emma, she, her. Oh my gracious. Congrats, honey. She said my she said my daughter is the number one tennis player in um girl tennis player in the world. <laughs> Congrats, honey. I don't know what I do without Democrats and the teachers unions. With their help, I get to spend all day telling white kids to hate themselves. Thanks. Wow. Wow. Black people are beautiful, cultured and oppressed white people <laughs> white people are oppressors annoying and unseasoned chicken <laughs> it's him, but white people are oppressors annoying and unseasoned chicken <laughs> democrats covid policies forced me to shut down and honestly it's fine it's it's it, no it's it's great it's great it's um I'm great. I'm I'm doing well. Things are things are really good. It's 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 better this way actually. Um I I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm so glad Joe Biden forced me to get the vaccine. I was perfectly healthy, but I didn't want to lose my job. Thanks, Joe. 
Oh, wow. You know you're wrong for that. You know you're wrong for that, Allie. You saw what she did? Democrats have been in charge of my city for decades. And while we don't have any jobs here anymore, I can't go out at night without the fear of being murdered and our water is undrinkable. I still feel really good knowing that my vote helped my neighbor. Somehow. Thanks, California Democrats. Things are going great. You heard them. Democrats are helping real people. But most of all, we're defending democracy by sticking the FBI on our political opponents and sending the DOJ after parents who don't want their seventh graders to read porn at school. See, the Republican Party represents fascism, and the only way to win is to combine the powers of the government, big tech, and major corporations to censor and silence them. Look, it takes courage to vote for the party. The censor and silence them. Get out of here. Did y'all just not hear what she said? I want, I want to play this one more time. Hold on one second. Them. And the only way to win is to combine the powers of the government, big tech, and major corporations. The government, big tech, and major corporations to censor. To censor and silence them. In silence. Yep. That's exactly what's happening. God dang it. Look, it takes courage to vote for the party that every celebrity and Instagram influencer is telling you to vote for. And while it looks like we have power simply because our ideology dominates all major corporations, big tech, Hollywood, academia, public education, the administrative and security states, the CDC, the NIH, not to mention the World Economic Forum and the UN, we're actually the underdog. Remember, the real enemy is Christian nationalism, which we won't define because we don't know what it is. Unity. <laughs> how you just know how you just sliding down a day on slime board just gonna pop up with us talking about unity thanks to those of you who support us you're voting for us to save democracy to bring back normalcy and to end racism we'll get right on that in the words of our president we're one nation under you know the thing with Hajj care and Hajjigwe for all. I'm the spokesperson for the Democratic Party. Vote for us in November. You know, and that was messed up how she made fun of him stumbling over his words. We don't know what it was from. We don't know if it was natural from old age, if it was from him being stressed out from, from the job that he's not that great at, or if it was from... Ali was hilarious. And it sucks that a lot of the stuff she was saying, like you just now said, is absolutely true. A lot of what she said is true.